Welcome to The Right Question. I'm Daphne Gray Grant. Today I'm giving advice on how to hire an editor. I have a question from Catherine Rakow, a writer from Confluence, Pennsylvania. Here's what she's asked. My name is Catherine M. Rocco. I live in Confluence, Pennsylvania. My question is about engaging an editor. I am writing my first book, a nonfiction book, on the development of a theory of human behavior in the 1940s and 1950s. Should I engage an editor familiar with this theory, or would it be more important to gauge one who recognizes quality writing? Thank you. I look forward to your response. Thanks for the question, Catherine. For more than 40 years, I have worked as an editor and hired many editors, but I can remember how nerve-wracking it was the first time to trust someone else with that job. For more than 40 years, I've worked as an editor and hired many editors, but I can remember how nerve-wracking it was to trust someone else. I think you're being very wise to be careful about finding the right person. Hiring an editor is like hiring a teacher, a therapist, a personal trainer, and a contractor all together in one package. If you don't hire the right person, you can end up making yourself miserable or spending a lot of money on a not very good edit. If you don't hire the right person, you can end up making yourself miserable or spending a lot of money and not getting a very good edit in return. To answer your main question, however, I don't think it's necessary to have someone who's familiar with the theory you describe, and in fact, it might even be a disadvantage. Good editors deal with information that's new to them all the time. Really, it's part of their job description. Further, someone who is unfamiliar with the theory is like to do a better job of ensuring your description is going to be clear to other readers who are also unfamiliar with the theory. But let me also address the second part of your question. You refer to an editor who recognizes quality writing. This is like saying you want a surgeon who's good with a knife or a seamstress who knows how to use a sewing machine. By definition, they do. Far more important is whether the editor is someone you can get along with. My own favorite editor is someone with whom I have many interesting conversations. She asks about my kids, I ask about hers. We talk to each other about our travels and what novels we're reading. In many ways, we're friends. This makes me more able to trust her suggestion and it helps her better understand my tastes. The thing about editing is that it's not entirely black and white. There are a few issues where one decision might be right and the other wrong, but the vast majority are matters of taste. If your editor understands your taste, you're in good hands. Here's how to approach hiring an editor. Go to a list of them. I've included links below to databases of Canadian and US editors. I assume similar links exist for other countries as well. Look for someone who specializes in your genre, fiction or nonfiction. Generally, you don't need to get much more specific than that, but certain subgenres such as self-help, might benefit from an editor who has expertise in that area. Check their references, following up with at least three of them. You want to find out how pleasant the editor was to deal with and whether they were able to meet their deadlines. Then, don't hire the person for your book immediately. That's way too big a commitment for someone you haven't tested yet. Instead, start them off with a small job. Get them to edit a blog post, an article, or a report. You want something that's small and low risk for you. If, after that trial, you would be happy to invite them to your house for dinner, you likely have a good editor. I know this might sound like a lot of effort, but remember that you'll be working with this person for several months and you want to be sure that you like and respect them. Finally, let me wrap up with a quote from Southern writer Bobby Romans. A good editor is like tinsel on a Christmas tree. They add the perfect amount of sparkle without being gaudy. Thanks for your question, Catherine. If you can approach hiring an editor like you'd approach hiring a contractor for your house, I know you'll be able to find the right person.